<laughs> okay, so this first article is about a – so this dad gives his – no, this daughter gives her dad a DNA test kit for Christmas because I guess he's on Ancestry.com. Yeah. So, you know, you can do your DNA and um, find tree. out – Yeah, for your family tree, whatever. But I think what happened is she – Gave him. I don't really know. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. I'm in suspense. <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah. I'm on the edge of my seat. <laughs> okay. So Joseph and Jennifer, which is the parents, conceived Rebecca, the daughter, who's now 24. That's how it usually happens. Through IVF <laughs> oh, back my. in 1994, after they were trying, you know, struggling okay. to get pregnant. Um, but basically, when he did the DNA test, it showed that he is not related to her. So the hospital put the wrong man's sperm in the whole IVF process. Oh, this is how what? religions start, right? Where someone what? was Mary did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> she was told was like, <laughs> she told everyone she was a virgin. I was like, oh, <laughs> it must be Jesus. This guy is saying that <laughs> she's saying I didn't cheat on you. <laughs> when really, yeah, they didn't use IVF. She had an affair. <laughs> Are we jumping to conclusions or? <laughs> That's a that's a big leap. <laughs> well, I'm looking at the child right now, and she looks awfully like the milkman. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I guess they did have IVF because they've got hospital uh, records or whatnot. They're suing the hospital and the fertility clinic. Um, Wait, I got another joke. Yeah. Wait, before okay, you continue. Go, 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 go. It wasn't his. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a joke. That's just a lyric. <laughs> And it really wasn't. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> Anyways, continue. But in this circumstance, it actually is his because he's raised us since she was little. Well, the the, the plot thickens. <laughs> okay. The plot thickens. The 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 dad could actually be one of the doctors from the hospital. He put the wrong sperm. <laughs> His sperm. Did he do it on purpose? But I don't know. Oh, one of the... Oh. I don't know. I don't know. That, that doctor plotten, was a massive wanker. The plot and <laughs> thickens. <laughs> is, that a, is that a saying? The plot and the plot thickens? It's the plot thickens, not the plot and. Yeah. The plot and. The plot and thicks. <laughs> <laughs> Earnest words. Plot and. I guess they're I'm just along. Italian, <laughs> but when they did, when they traced her DNA thing, there was no Italian in her at all. Like uh, zilch. Okay, if they're Italian, that means the mum's Italian as well. So yeah, but there was. Is it the mum's egg? Oh, he's Italian then. No, the mum's not Italian. Mr. Cartelloni, the dad, the Cartelloni. Oh. So there Sounds was like no Italian family. DNA in her him. at all. And her DNA with the mums matched pretty closely, but nothing with the fathers. So suspecting that there was something wrong, yet yeah, they'd gone back to the hospital. Um, and I don't know how the doctor got into the mix. I don't know whether it's something like, he's like ha, 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 I'll just do my own sperm. Or if he was also just giving sperm, because you know you can donate did for he money. Drop, he, Maybe he, he drop needed the, money. Maybe he dropped the real sperm and he's like, damn it, what am I going to oh, do now? Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Damn these sperm fingers. He's like, they'll (laughs) never find out. This is back in 1992. They'll never find out. And then lo and behold, DNA kits are like, you just order them on Amazon or whatever. Okay. Can the mum actually uh, sue the doctor for child support for all those years? Oh, Uh, crazy. But I agree with you, CJ, that that's that's his daughter. Yeah. You can't take that away from him, mate. Unless he wants to leave. But why would you want to leave? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're not mine? <laughs> so so I'm, see ya. I'm out of here. <laughs> it so wasn't the, his. <laughs> the lawyers that they that the family hired have narrowed the possible father down to five men, Doctor being one of them. Are they going to be on the Murray Povich show? Like, oh, imagine. this is a good series on Netflix now. <laughs> yeah, this could be a whole Murray series. Povich. Are you the dad? <laughs> <laughs> but imagine being the girl and that, and you just find out all of a sudden your dad's not your dad and vice versa. He thought he was as well. And it's like, you've got five possibilities now. Like, that would be so horrible. It's like a blind date. Yeah, it's like, who do you want? Which one do you want to choose? <laughs> you ask more questions. Three <laughs> questions from behind a dark screen. <laughs> It's blind a date, now, and it's... here is your host, Miss Silla <laughs> Love that show. 
<laughs> they should bring that back. <laughs> oh, um, God. I've never seen that show. Oh, you should watch it, CJ. It's funny. It's I, funny I'm just saying, are they going to actually go through other children that was done in that clinic? See if it's happened multiple times. Oh, crap. see if this. Imagine is like if a it's um just some one doctor that just fought his just genes loves it and he'd spread it. Yeah, because that, that's what you see them on that, like. Right? Yeah, because yeah, it's happened a few times. Some of the similar things. Yeah, you see that actually happen and on TV, but like it can really it happen, can. and yeah. there's just messed up people in the world that's like. Hmm. I need my seed to be everywhere. Yeah. Oh and they're always God. the type of people that shouldn't have their seed everywhere. Yes, <laughs> always. It's always the creepy, like, little guy that should be in a corner. Yeah. <laughs> it does, uh, that doesn't show his face on camera. Oh, my God. Hey! Oh. <laughs> I am a little guy. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, 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 they'll trace it back to a silhouette of a man. They're like, who's this guy? <laughs> I might be creepy, but I ain't little. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so, right. so, um... Are there other examples of this? <laughs> not that I've seen, but I think it has <laughs> happened. Definitely. I'm not talking about. Well, the, I mean, I'm like, not talking about the DNA. I'm talking about uh, mistaken identity. Yeah, like people switching, taking the wrong babies from hospital. What? Yeah, that's happened. Is that because the baby that they actually had was unattractive, so they thought they get the good <laughs> one? <laughs> Either that, <laughs> or they've just picked up the wrong one, or the nurse has handed them the wrong one. Like. This ugly baby can't be mine. <laughs> Give me a good looking one. I'll take that one. <laughs> Who is that guy? Who is that guy that's it's speaking? Like, CJ. Isn't it just crazy when you think about like what a nurse or a doctor has to do? Like when I worked, I don't know, if I worked in McDonald's or something and I put the wrong burger on the wrong bun or something. <laughs> it's like, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Mixed, mixed it I mean? up. But yeah. like a doctor's like, if they just press the wrong thing, someone dies or yeah. someone gets the wrong baby. Like, you it's can't just, just you... have a bad day if you're a doctor. How, like, I just I, I put a post out actually, a while, like not long ago, on my Facebook saying I was just thinking, especially uh, nurses and doctors. But I spoke about nurses because it was the post, a picture I shared specifically on what nurses do. And it was like, if you just sit on the bus and there's a nurse opposite you, like you don't know they're a nurse, they're just another person. And like she might have literally just come back from saving somebody's life. Yeah, she's probably on half the wage I'm on. She's probably like going home to now help look after a family. Like, yeah. When you think about what she's doing, it is incredible. Like, yeah. It is incredible. But what then you, you would say? all oh, turn I got good to them as well. Like, I... yeah, like and say then, the yeah, bus, there's, like there's the most... a bus crash, it... the nurse is going to be that first one to help everyone. But not even in a way of, not even in the way like I do this in my job. They, on top of all that, they have to be like so caring yeah. and so compassionate towards their patients. And then they have to be easy to talk to. Like the skills that a nurse has, I just thought I'd, it's worth saying is incredible. Yeah. Hats off to the nurses out there is what you're trying to say. That that makes That's me uh, uh, think of another question, like ranking like uh, jobs. What would be number one? Like I feel like people that save your life. What's the scale? Like what? what <laughs> save we, people's lives. Importance of importance or? to the human race. Like oh. I don't think I don't think stockbrokers are very important to the human race yeah. i don't like like nah get rid of the stockbrokers farmers you reckon farmers would be in the top 10 yeah that's an important job because we need yeah. to eat if we yeah. don't get food we will be non-existent yeah farmers we've got your nurses and doctors we've got your firefighters we've got your police, police officers? officers do you think that's in the top 10 yes yeah. police officers yes you, you need to kind of maintain some st- so it's politician politicians no. 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 police officers I don't think police officers for the human race, though. Like, I think the race would go on about police officers. Oh, you're talking human race. Yeah. Right. Okay. But then like, all of them, we'll go on about all of them, I guess. But, like, what is most critical to our, like, mm. I don't know. That's a tough one. That That's is what a I do. tough one. I ask the tough questions. And then you give no answer. Yeah, well, I don't know them. That's why <laughs> I just ask them. Oh, by the way, guys, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm not watching the clock. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I don't it's know actually more annoying one. when someone asks a question when they always know the answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But on the, on the uh, other well, <laughs> on the other hand, Maxie, it's, on it's, it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's annoying someone that asks a lot of questions and go, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we need a balance. Yes, I don't know. Anyway, well, um, <laughs> we'll leave it there. <laughs> was that the DNA article? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So poor lady, she's got five dads to choose from. <laughs> <laughs>